Okay. And let me start quiz as usual. I hope that you see the quiz. Okay. So we're entering uh, uh, semi definite programming, uh, conic programming. And uh, dual cons and self dual cons is one of uh, the central instruments to develop duality. So I ask you to show that uh, positive artant is a self dual con. By the way, it was not shown explicitly in the lecture. So this task is a little bit, a little bit more creative. You just go by definition of dual con. Okay, you can start working. And then probably in the beginning, I think we should discuss uh, how your last homework, homework four is going because it's uh, rather challenging and maybe it's a good idea to discuss it a little bit and then we will move to conic programming okay. uh, i just uh, remind you that you should show that any two vectors from the cone has uh, have a positive uh, non-negative inner product yes and uh, yes. if there is a vector outside of the cone, then you always can find a vector inside the cone which will have negative uh, inner product. It's, okay, uh, thank you. Analytical, <laughs> shortly said, yes. analytical. Because the topic of conic programming is a little bit challenging. Uh, I invite somebody uh, to show us uh, to show us solution of the quiz. You first of all, you you can put your hands down, those who rose, and if anybody wants to show solution, uh, please uh, raise your hand. Maybe Itai wants to show solution yes hello okay today i don't have camera but i can have the share screen so i will show you the my solution uh, you you have solution on your screen okay yes everybody see i, I see uh, this i, I, I guess I hope that uh, everybody hear us okay so here is yes, the, we can see okay here is the exact definition for positive or sound. Yeah. And we know that if x is greater than zero, then it means that each xi is greater than zero for each uh, i from one to n. Mm -hmm. The dual cone by definition is every uh, y that mm. satisfies internal uh, scalar product uh, is greater than zero, where x is uh, x belongs to the positive uh, positive orthant. Okay, just. So just uh, let's stop for a second. Uh, is this uh, definition complete or something is missing? If if I have a y, which has uh, why is in if I have a... maybe it's better to say that. No, no, no. Uh, it's it's okay. You. You should not de defend anything because it's very nice when open some open points for discussion remain. Uh, and I I have a, a question: If I have y, which uh, has positive inner product with some x belonging to the con, is this y in the dual con? Um, I think so. I think it should no. have no. It should have um, 
it should have a positive inner product with all vectors from the primal form with any x yes for 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 all yes I miss this and this is a very very important thing yes i mean we will use so so okay let's yes see. now it's the exact uh, definition so it is in particular for every ei where ei is the standard autonomous base it satisfies this condition yes so um, we know for we know we know this uh, for every um, we, we demand it for every y in k in k star sorry and uh, so y i is greater than, than uh, is greater than zero for each uh, i so y is greater than zero by definition and uh, therefore y is also in the orthant in the positive orthant and since this is a um, this is a equivalence. We can infer that K star is exact is the exact positive orthant set. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you can stop your share. Uh, uh, just a second. Don't stop. Any 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 comments uh, regarding this solution? I think also there is a missing for all i in, in y i bigger than zero. Yeah, okay, I, I wrote it very fast, so uh, yeah, yeah. okay. Le, uh, let me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. And let me return. Uh, you can stop your share, and let me return once again. Uh, yeah. Um, I I will move. I think I I will move to the next example where. Just a second. Let me see. Um. Oh, let me. Let me. Put something in writing. Anno annotate. Okay. So uh, for self dual co uh, for dual con, yes. Uh, for self dual con, if if x and y belongs to con. Then uh, uh, what should we have? Inner product, yes. X, Y greater equal. Uh, let me do in a, a little more general form. If uh, X, uh, if if you have a general con. If X be, be belongs to K and Y belongs to K star to do to the dual con, what is definition? We we should uh, require that X Y uh, greater equal zero. Yes. Yes. For for any X. For. Uh, uh, for for any x y yes, uh, yes. Uh, ju uh, just second you 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 should you want to put it here yes for yes. for any x in the primal con if y belongs to do du dual this is right yes yes uh, and uh, so this is the first state, uh, and in in our case, k and k star should be the same. Uh, so the, this uh, first statement we should prove, yes. So x uh, and y uh, 
greater equal zero mean belongs to uh, R plus yes R plus R plus uh, of course uh, all the components are non-negative uh, the inner pro product x uh, y uh, uh, greater or equal zero uh, but now uh, okay okay again i want to do it symbolically say uh, here coordinates x1 x2 and this is a positive orton and if I, if i have a vector y or vector z for for, for example which doesn't be belong to my con. Uh, what does it uh, uh, doesn't belong to my con and doesn't belong to K star? What does it mean? That uh, it has at least one component the, that is uh, negative. Yes, yeah, yeah. there is one vec one vector. I I can even find it geometrically. Yes. One ve uh, vector in my cone that uh, angle is more than 90 degrees, and uh, uh, inner product is uh, so uh, uh, x uh, inner product with z exists x in uh, in my cone such that the uh, inner product with z. Uh, less equal uh, less than zero okay so so it's in in enough to take uh, uh, you find, you find coordinate of z is ne is negative yes and to take a vector x which uh, has this co coordinate positive and this the rest zero it just schematically to show you uh okay now i'm not sure how clear i was it was like not prepared explanation but i hope uh, any 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 question any comment now okay I, I really don't hear you well, but uh, so uh, so the say the say the second part is Im, Im, important. Okay, uh, what would you, I propose to do now? Uh, I will stop my sharing. Uh, clear all draw, drawings. And we will do one more. Ex I, I am really, really a little bit confused. I wanted to discuss our uh, homework number four, but you already activated in this task of dual cons. Let's go with this, and then we will uh, we must discuss the homework. Please stay stay online. Okay, let me stop uh, commenting and uh, let's do one more problem in class so those problems are very related so you know pre pre prepare it so if i have uh, two positive semi-definite matrices a and b so uh, the our, our class exercise is uh, to show that con of positive semi-definite matrices is self-dual. What does it mean? If I have two matrices which are positive semi-definite, uh, first of all, we should know uh, show that the inner product is uh, greater or equal zero. And uh, the second part is like what's in the second part of our ex ex example. If I have a matrix 
which is not positive semi-definite. What does it mean? Not positive semi-definite. Uh, positive semi-definite matrix, for example, all its eigenvalues are non-negative. And for example, uh, B have one or several eigenvalues negative and others maybe or negative or positive. <coughs> then I will find positive definite matrix, which will have negative inner product. You see, we are following the same line of development. Uh, I, uh, let, what I would propose, let's uh, start from the first part. I, I even put my slide one slide back. Let's show this statement and then uh, go to the second one. And the first statement, uh, actually, uh, it was considered in the le lecture, but it, it's good to write it by, by hand. Now, now I just uh, remind you the uh, main idea that uh, um, positive definite matrix can be expressed uh, A, for, for example, like u transpose u uh, with arbitrary matrix u of right sides of, of course and b of course is uh, equal v transpose v for example based on this idea you can try to to show that the inner product is greater or equal to zero Okay, you can start working and whoever is ready, uh, please, uh, you even can tell with voice because I'm not always following the list of participants. Okay. So we uh, should show uh, we are going to show that uh, in this exercise, that positive definite mat if we have uh, the cone of positive definite matrices, positive semi definite matrices, if is self dual. So if I have two matrices which uh, belong to cone, this is first part. I want to show that uh, the inner product uh, is uh, non negative. And what we did. I just very fast to remind me, uh, remind you. So if uh, say A, because it's positive semi-definite, it may be written in the form U transpose U, where U is uh, some matrix and B is, for example, V transpose V and uh, trace, uh, and the inner product A with B is a trace AB because they are symmetric. We don't put transpose. This is trace U transpose U, V transpose V. And we do circular shift here. Under trace, we have right to do it. And then we get trace V U transpose U V tra transpose, and we may de denote this is matrix Z transpose, and this is its transpose, it's Z. And this is a trace Z transpose Z which is the sum of square of elements of Z, which is the, in other words, Robinius norm. Squared, which is greater or equal zero. Uh, so I put it everything on the recording because we forgot to record. And now 
Э, вот субведу. Space. And uh, clear drawings. And now we are going to show the second part uh, to show that uh, the convex self dual. We should uh, show two things: that any two vectors in in the con have no negative inner product, and if there is a vector out of the con then uh, there is some vector in the con that the inner product will be negative and there are two ways to show it uh, consider eigenvalue decomposition of a and b and if b is not positive semi-definite then it may have some negative eigenvalue and say take a in the same eigenbasis but with all positive and show that you can find such a that there will be negative inner product. And uh, one more way to go, if B is not positive definite, then there is an X that X transpose BX is less than zero. Because for positive definite matrices, this is greater or equal zero for any X. But for non-positive, there is such an X that this is less than equal zero, and try based on this property uh, to show to find this A. We need actually to find this matrix A, which will make uh, this inner product negative. And uh, Michael, uh, do you want to show us your solution? I have to scan it, but I think it ah. can be easier if you write down what ah, I say. Okay. Like before. So if it's okay for you. It's completely okay with me. Just a second. Uh, let me see. screen setting and take my pen. Move. My video a little bit away. Uh, start. Start. Annotate. Okay. Okay. So I used your second hint: the fact that there exists some x that uh, x transpose b x is less than zero. So I I just write it again: x transpose b. Uh, x less uh, than zero okay and then i suppose a matrix a that is x x transpose uh, let's think together x is a column yes yes this is x ah x x Transpose you, you say yes? Yes. Ah, okay. So this should be matrix. You, you are right. And yes, this, and we uh, can. This we de denote as A. Okay. We can verify that it is a positive semi definite by multiply it with some vector in both sides. Yes. Oh, uh, oh we, we, we already learned, but but it's good. It's 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 good. So uh, what is your notation of this uh, additional vector? Uh, y. I, I say uh, y. Okay. So you 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 say that uh, you check uh, y transpose uh, a y. Yes. Yes. With uh, what it will be y transpose x x transpose y and x. then x transpose y and then you you say you can put parentheses in this way yes yes so we get uh, this is a ribo of some uh, square of this some number yes yes this it's some of square the element of this uh, yes 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 vector so this is the uh, greater equal to Okay, good. And then we can uh, 
uh, write the uh, scalar product of A and B. Okay, uh, A and B. Which is the trace of AB. Mm -hmm. And again, like the like the previous uh, exercise, it is the trace of X, X transpose B. Trace. And we can say uh, trace X, X transpose B. And then? Then we can shift, uh, cyclic shift uh, X to here, yeah, yes. Yeah. And we know that the term inside this trace is a scalar that is less than uh, zero. So we, we, we get this expression, yes? Yes. Actually, we get this uh, expression and this is uh, less uh, than zero. Okay. And in this way, we finished uh, our proof. Uh, any, any, any question? Any comment about our solution, about Michael's solution? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I will save and clear this now. We are all drawing. Okay. Okay. And uh, once again, I remind the students to stay till the end of the lesson, if you may, because we will discuss our homework in the end. Uh, homework number four. Okay. Uh, what else do we have for today? Ah. Ah, actually, I did it. I see. So this is uh, what you suggested. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, uh, what I will do now? Only now. You 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 see, we have a reverse uh, reverse classroom because because of your quiz in the beginning, we moved to this topic of dual cons, and now. We may move back to the uh, main uh, topic. Just a second. Of uh, conic programming. I, I will do a very brief review. And uh, here is a good point uh, to have uh, questions or comments. If you ask uh, questions or have comments, if, if you have. Uh, and then we will move further. Just a second. Okay. So we say that conic programming just generalized linear programming when instead of inequalities, uh, which may be said like usually inequality, like the vector of difference because it belongs to a non-negative orthant which is a, a directed con convex directed con we generalize it for other cons for more general cons and uh, get this to conic programming and here are examples of cons of course as you know from the lecture no negative artant, uh, Lorenz or ice cream cone and cone of uh, positive semi matrices and the corresponding uh, optimization problem, conic optimization problem, which is linear programming, uh, con conic quadratic programming, and the uh, semi definite programming. By the way, I have had misprint in semi definite. Pro, uh, pro, uh, pro uh, programming. So in semi-definite programming, we say in this way uh, that uh, some linear function of my vector x, linear mapping of my vector x, belongs to the con, to the con of positive semi-definite matrices. And how I organize this very general mapping? I just 
take n uh, symmetric matrices. And in the lecture, it was mistake. It was uh, written as M plus, which are po uh, positive semi-definite. Actually, they are only symmetric. They don't have any other requirements. And matrix B, and I say that the linear combination should uh, belong to the corner of positive semi-definite matrices. This is a very central slide. If you have, uh, I, I went through it uh, rather fast now. And if you have any question, any comment, it's a good uh, moment to med meditate a little bit and ask questions. Okay. Yes. You don't say the X is belonging to any corner or something, right? We, we just say that. Uh, a x minus b is in the corner. Uh, uh, does anybody can uh, repeat the question because my loudspeaker doesn't show it well? Is anybody in audience who may help me to repeat? So, I didn't uh, understand either. <laughs> Okay, so you definitely definitely should work on your microphone. Every week we are asking mind, the mind. same. Just do your homework. Buy a microphone for your computer or laptop. Uh, it's very similar. <laughs> okay. So again, uh, the question is that this expression belongs to a con? I, I, I didn't get. Yes. It's, okay. So yeah, yeah, yes. It it means that we require that this sum of our basic matrices, which are given in 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 advance, minus matrix B should be positive semi-definite. Yes. Okay. This was your question. Yes. The question is, X doesn't have any requirement. It doesn't. You don't say X is, is in the in the con. You say that that the superposition of AI yes. are in the sun. Yes. Uh, the, 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 the only thing we, we are working with symmetric matrices. All those matrices are SM, are symmetric. Yes. But we don't have any other requirement. There might be matrices which the linear combination will, ne will never be positive definite. Okay, then we will say that our problem doesn't have a feasible solution. This also may well happen. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you please go back to the uh, last slide? Okay, yes. So I, I didn't understand how can you multiply uh, X that is a uh, uh, column vector by a uh, matrix. Okay, x column vector. Just a second. Here, oh. as you just a second. I, I I understand your question and thank you very much. It, it Here says it's column. clear. Just, just a second. I I I, I know it was didactic statement. Here it's clear. Yes, it's number multiplied by matrix. And what is written here, calligraphic A is not a matrix. It's just the abstract operator and who learns tensors. You may think about tensor, but for us, it's just a linear mapping, which maps from vectors to symmetric matrices. But A calligraphic definitely is not matrix. And thank you for your question. Thank you for your answer. Okay, pleasure. Okay. Now we are already very familiar with the notion of dual cones and uh, self duality. And now there was a proof of duality in uh, conic programming so if we have a original problem which is written here minimum uh, 
inner product of C with AX uh, such that uh, AX minus B belongs to the to the cone. Then it was shown that there is a dual problem, which is the maximum uh, by, and y belongs to the dual cone. You see why it's helpful to have notion of dual cones. Subject to a adjoint y equal to c. All those vectors are in the primal problem. Yes, and if uh, somebody will look carefully on linear programming problem he will immediately find uh, the same structure which we already had in our lecture what we may do now uh, let me think whether i have this slide here yes can i, can yeah. I have a question uh, just a second. Yes, yes. Yes, I am with you. I'm asking about the A, calligraphic A here. Here it is uh, in general, right? It's not uh, the same as we talked about earlier. It's just a linear operator, right? The linear a, operator, a. which maybe sometime a matrix yes or sometime it may be something more more general yes yes you're okay. right okay well, just to uh, emphasize that that it's not uh, the previous one uh previous one was a particular case of this one yes okay you're right because here uh, we have general conic formulation and on previous slide, we had particular case of conic yes. problem when our cone is cone of positive symmetric. Okay. okay, and what I suggest to do now, the thing that was not in the in the lecture, to show simil similarity between duality in nonlinear programming, which we already learned and the conic programming which we are learning now so i wrote two problems one to next to other and you may get used to it so usual nonlinear programming is minimize some nonlinear function subject to functional constraints let's say equal zero <coughs> and what we did in nonlinear programming we wrote uh, Lagrangian. We had lambda, but here it's more convenient for us to uh, use y as Lagrange multiplier. So this is uh, Lagrangian. We, you are already similar. What we can do in conic programming to write Lagrangian in very similar way. Oh, it's written here. So it's uh, our objective minus uh, y minus because here we had the inequality less or equal zero and here like greater or equal zero in conic sense. That's why we have minus here in the Lagrangian. So inner product of uh, y with uh, vector of constraints i a r x minus b this is vector of constraints so you see uh, things uh, look very very similar and what what we can say then uh, if you remember using uh, minimax theorem we developed duality in usual nonlinear pro, pro programming, what we told we uh, will maximize over uh, multipliers, Lagrange multipliers, y greater or equal zero, our Lagrangian. And uh, let's think to, together. Here written the result, yes. And uh, why it is so? Uh, what will be this maximum when x is feasible? 
if uh, let's concentrate on this term i just reminding you important things <coughs> which we already learned if, if it's possible then everything is negative all the end. yes you're you're right so constraints are negative and uh, we say that multipliers are positive, non negative. So all this all expression this is negative or zero. And its maximum, of course, is zero because otherwise it will be smaller. So this term van vanishes and only f of x stays. So here is the, the result. And uh, <coughs> when uh, some constraint is violated, so it's positive. You can set a multiplier very large and drive this term to plus infinity. And that's why it's written here. And now we come to a very interesting parallel thing in the conic programming. Let's see what I wrote here. Okay. And we now say that in conic programming, if we restrict our Lagrange multiplier to belong to dual con or greater or equal with sign k star, yes, then zero, then we have the same result. And this is our next class exercise to show this. So, and uh, I just give you bold hint. So, if X is feasible, then uh, this expression belongs to con, to con K. Yes, this is what written here. And uh, we take Y from dual con. So, we know something about the sign of this inner product. So you can start working and let me know with uh, raise your hand and maybe also know with voice when you finish. Or if you have any question now, just tell me. Okay. Then and let me put uh, annotation and Yair will tell us uh, how uh, i hope you will hear me anyway if x is feasible yes then uh, y the inner product between y and x minus b yes. is bigger than zero bigger or equal to zero okay you so we say, say just say, uh, just second just second let's let, uh, say it uh, uh, completely. So we say X feasible. Uh, first of all, uh, this means yes. Yes, that, means uh, A X minus B belongs to con, and we know that. Uh, why, Why uh, in any case be, belongs to k uh, where do I put star k star on on the on the on the top okay in this case okay then uh, you say that this inner product is uh, or, yeah. okay, okay okay then this inner product uh, greater equal zero when it's feasible okay yes okay so so we should take y equals zero for minimizing it just a second we maximize in y so the, all this expression yeah, but will it is be, negative but it is negative so we will be to... negative okay yeah. that's why yes yes that's why you say what should we do Zero it because we don't want negative. For example, we may take y zero, so all this term will be zero, and only f of x will remain. Yes. 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 Okay. 
And what, Otherwise, what uh, if uh, now if uh, if X, X is not in uh, the, yeah, it's not feasible, not feasible. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we can find the Y uh, such that. Then uh, just a second. Then. Uh, a x minus b doesn't belong to k yes yes okay so we can find uh, y such that uh, it its inner product will give us the negative value with a x minus b y is, is on in 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 the dual point yes is this why such that uh, uh, in dual point in dual point yes exists why in dual con we we, we we actually learned this uh, expression in opposite di uh, direction yes uh, yeah. But uh, what you are using now that uh, k adjoint, adjoint is dual to k, adjoint is k, k. Yeah. k. Yes, yeah. it's like your k here is original, yeah. and this is a adjoint. Adj 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 uh, so it's important. That, so it's important uh, to mention it. It's important to mention it. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's good. Good to mention it. Uh, such that uh, y uh, a uh, x minus b negative yes yes otherwise it would be it would be in the cone yes okay so assume that we found such y that this expression is negative so what what should we do now now it's like uh, in the in the nonlinear programming. Just a second. Can, let, uh, let me, uh, for a second, put a razor somewhere. Oh, I wanted to erase something. Okay, I, I erase this line and put separator again. Yeah. Oh, just a second. And go again and put separator here because we continue here yes okay uh now now we can so assume we that. found such y that uh, this is neg negative what would uh, should we do now now we can take any scalar bigger than one okay we multiply, yeah, multiply, so we y multiply mu y mu for for example y yes yes mu y with uh, a x minus b and uh, drive mu to infinity yes yes mu uh, positive color mm -hmm. okay and then this uh, is this... minus infinity and on, on lagrangian it would be infinity yes yes in lagrangian so it, we told in, with words we didn't write uh, everything formally, but uh, I hope that idea is clear. And we have uh, additional video with the explanation of all this stuff. Just uh, let me save. Uh, any 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 question about this? Because I will I am going to clear all this writing. Any question, any comment? Okay, then I'm clearing. And let's see what do I have in my slides. Uh, and then I, I, I continue my story. Uh, if I have this ideal, uh, ideal penalty, yes. Then if I minimize it in X, I get my solution. 
And here the same. The, this is ideal penalty for conic programming problem. <coughs> if I minimize this in AX, so for feasible X, I give my get my objective, and this penalty will not let me go out outside of uh, this um, area. So it's uh, F star. In both cases, I, I get uh, optimal value. And now, if I flip order of max and mean, then by minimax theorem, I get something that less or equal than min max. And this is exactly the big duality that we have. Uh, and this part which we will maximize in y after minimization in x we call dual function in nonlinear programming and also in conic programming this is way to get dual function so you see very nicely we have the same framework uh, not the same but very similar framework for both, both cases uh, I think you should meditate on this and uh, maybe ask questions if you have. Can I ask a question? Yes. Okay. Uh, I didn't understand. What is the advantage of using of, of using conic programming? Like, what gives us more than general nonlinear programming? Ah, this, uh, thank you. It's uh, very important. You know, be, because of uh, the, uh, those things are a little bit challenging technically. Actually, I give examples in uh, the second lecture. We will have one more lecture on uh, conic programming. And there are important examples, for example, uh, minimizing uh, maximal eigenvalue of matrix, which depends on some uh, free variable, or minimizing maximal singular value of a matrix, and many other problems, which uh, happen to be nice uh, convex optimization problems, which uh, uh, when uh, you have uh, this, uh, especially when we have this linear con conic formulation when your objective function and constraints are linear, only uh, inequality is special, uh, then uh, very efficient and reliable solvers exist. And uh, that's why people uh, widely use conic programming. Ah, okay, thank you very much. And the examples, the concrete examples, you may see a little bit, uh, very few in the second lectures, uh, lecture and much more examples in uh, courses of, uh, uh, let me see, right, uh, courses of, uh, Stephen Boyd, yes, it's a very famous course about uh, convex optimization and conic programming takes uh, very, very large spaces there. And also courses by uh, Arkady Nemirovsky. And uh, uh, Aaron Bental. Uh, Nimirovsky was working in Technion for many years. He was my PhD advisor. And uh, Aaron Bental continues working in the Technion. So uh, uh, actually, Arkady Nimirovsky is, uh, in many senses, uh, founder of many things in. Uh, semi-definite programming uh, so you 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 can find very rich uh, very rich field of uh, applications examples if you just 
you'll Google those names. And Stephen Boyd has a really good course on Stanford. I think many of you hear, hear it about his course on convex optimization. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, pleasure. Uh, with this, we finished uh, our main part for today, and uh, it's really good uh, time to discuss homework. Uh, let me. What should I do? Uh, I just save slide, clear draw, draw drawings, and uh, so. Do you have any 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 questions? How does it go? Maybe I... yes. You had a question. I can. A question about this or about no the homework. Okay, very good, very, very good. Uh, okay, I'm I'm with you. Yeah, I can uh, share my screen. Uh, yes, 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 please. Yeah, okay, I share. So <clears throat> this is the graph. Of convergence of the F, it's the L O F minus F star, and this is the x axis is the total iteration, including the inner and the outer iteration, it's all the new and it's not like uh, it's not look like what you say what you show us in the last lecture. That means that uh, yes, monotony yes. decreases. And this is my question. So you do. Uh, what is on your x axis? It's Just the number steps. of the what? Uh, I, I, I would like to see on x axis yeah. number of uh, new, Newton step counter. Yeah, it is this. This is the number of the Newton step counter. Okay, and now I ask one more new, uh, one more question. In classical uh, augmented Lagrangian algorithm, we are minimizing our penalty aggregate with rather good, good accuracy and only then update penalty parameter and multiply. We do not update after every Newton step. Sometimes, like you show in your example, it's, you can do it and succeed. But uh, sometimes it will bring you to some strange places. That's okay, but here, I, but here I, up, I update with this safe strat strategy. But, yes. but if and here I update my uh, my lambda that uh, when the gradient of the f is below uh, ten to minus five. Okay, then but it's very very fast uh, convergence. So it's then we to... uh, we we need to to see this graph. I I really want you to have one more graph, mm -hmm. which you show gradient of uh, penalty aggregate, penalty okay. multiplier aggregate as a function of new Newton step. And okay. then maybe your graph is good, but uh, do 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 you have this first graph or not? I will, uh... Meanwhile, I will plot it, but uh, you can uh, meanwhile talk okay. to other students. So I really want you to have maybe it's good. So actually, you what you are saying that you are converging to right uh, value of objective function, which is very good. In very very fast in two or three steps for any inner iteration. But but uh, but this, it it may happen. But this you should show us. You should show us. Uh, and maybe it's good uh, to have harder uh, uh, unconstrained optimization criteria, for example, uh, 10 to the minus 6 or 7, and then you will observe this uh, quadratic convergence, which is very important for debugging. Okay, okay. so meanwhile, I, I, I will uh, print graph. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. You 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 may stop your sharing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more more questions uh, regarding the homework. And uh, those who didn't advance yet, I really strongly encourage to do it. 
because you are close to finishing and uh, quite often uh, so uh, students who are lucky or maybe very careful uh, they get uh, the results fast but if you have some small mistake it may be rather challenging to find way where it is so it's maybe a good idea to start uh, working very actively we try to have a question yes um when we run unconstrained optimization over the uh, aggregate function yes um, do we start from the previous x star or can we start wherever we want okay. no no it's good idea it's very important to to start from the last uh, optimal value yes okay okay because okay it converts even without this okay okay so more questions comments okay then uh, i will stop uh, or pause at least